Alright my fighters, so today we are going to talk about the fact that Dragon Ball Legends might have actually leaked a Zinkai Awakening for Super Vegito. And the reason is that this month uh, monthly mission banner has actually Super Vegito on it. So why? Why does it have from all characters Super Vegito? Well, the the only reason that I can think of is that it ha it is going to have something to do with him. So basically, not the missions, but the month itself. And the only way to make it actually have something to do with him is to release his Zinkai this month. So most likely we are going to see actually Super Vegito. It's not going to be something new because we uh, most of us actually expected him to to come somewhere around the anniversary either before it maybe a, a week or something before it uh, or during it or after it he he must get actually his zinkai during this period around the anniversary so it's not going to be something new but finally we are some seeing some light actually for it that they are going to do it indeed so let me know your opinion about that in the comments section below. Do you think that is actually a leak for his Zinkai Awakening? Or do you think that is just a banner that they thought actually would would make sense maybe for the anniversary? Because Super Vegito is an, an anniversary character and we know that this month is actually the anniversary month. Because on the 30th of uh, May we should be uh, getting actually the banners of the anniversary so basically from mid anniversary uh, from mid may we should start to get some leaks about the anniversary what is coming on the anniversary which events and maybe a uh, maybe we are going to see a actually a reveal and stuff uh, video as well uh, somewhere around the maybe 29th or 27th something around that actually we should be seeing a reveal and stuff video as well where Toshi is going to talk about the characters that are coming and the events that are coming on the anniversary so this this month is going to be full of uh, event of uh, leaks and new stuff that are coming on the anniversary hopefully they have some game changing stuff as well not just new characters and events maybe a new game mood or something like that maybe a fix for pvp something that is going to make the the game a little bit better actually uh, i would really appreciate that much more than just the new events and the new characters but if they have enough events then that would be nice as well <laughs> But seriously, uh, it's not all about Chrono Crystals and the new characters. It's about the enjoyment of the game. And if the game is, if you can't enjoy the game with these Chrono Crystals and characters that you have, then there is no point of playing the game. So hopefully they do something about maybe the hacks in PvP or something like like that that would make actually the game more enjoyable or give us some new ways to get actually Chrono Crystals easier uh, without problems. Or at least give us the new event that the 500 Chrono Crystals from the Ultra Space Time Rush should actually should have gone to it. <laughs> because until now we didn't get that event. So hopefully they give us actually that event on the anniversary. Or they give us something new that is going to change actually the game to the better. Anyways... Let me know your opinion about what is coming to the anniversary as well in the comments section below. And with that being said, that was everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends. And with that being said, see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.